Hey, what's up, Top Bully Owners? Today, I want to give you a simple routine that you could follow that uh, you could use when you bring a new dog to your home or if you have a dog that you've been had already. This is a simple routine you could follow, so keep watching. And it's Black Friday, and today we're hosting a new bundle that has never been seen before with some of the best products that will hold up for even some of the strongest dogs here. In this bundle, it includes our infamous flirt pole, some replacement toys for your flirt pole. We also have our strongest canine tug toy that is very durable. We also have our double handle dog leash that will make sure your dog is secure out on walks or wherever you go. And last but not least, we have our dog training pouch. So dog training can continue no matter where you're at at any given time when it's time to train. So we have our biggest discounts of the year on all of our products, including the Best Dog Owner Bully Bundle and the Pitbull Owner Training Academy. If you are interested in any of this stuff, there'll be a link in the description. And when you order, you really are just helping me out and it helps me create more content like this that is helpful for you guys. So I appreciate it. And I'm dropping free toys for really lucky winners. It's gonna be random, but there is lucky winners that are getting free chew toys for their dog. So some good advice that I could give you right now before you start anything is making sure your dog is exercised. I know some dogs that are really hyper and just can't focus and a lot of that has to do with them needing exercise. If your dog is like that, then I highly advise you to do it. If you have a calm dog, then let's just get started. Day one, when you bring your dog inside the home, I advise you, make sure your dog is tired. Make sure they're already satisfied with their exercise needs for the day because this is where we're gonna start establishing our designated areas around the house. Maybe you have baby gates up and your dog is only allowed in the kitchen or in the certain part of the house or just the living room. You wanna get that set up on day one to start building some foundation for your dog. And also you wanna start obviously learning some or teaching them some potty training time and uh, you know, if you want your dog off the couch, this is the perfect time to start establishing that. If you want them off your bed, this is the perfect time to start establishing that as well. Again, this is just getting familiar with your dog, especially if you bringing them home day one. Now day two, let's say it's Tuesday and day two, we're gonna start focusing on their obedience training. Now that comes with sit down, stay, leave it, stuff like that. This is where you really wanna hone in on that kind of stuff, focus on it, see where your dog's weak points are and make sure that you're trying to get them to do it as best as possible to communicate with them, not make it confusing for them. And uh, once they start getting the rhythm down, then you're gonna see it. Now day three, let's say it's a Wednesday. I really like to start doing some leash work with my dog, okay? Letting them learn how to walk on the leash properly where they're not pushing me and pulling me all throughout the walk. Loose leash walking doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to go in straight lines all the time. You could just go in a park and practice it with your dog, just like how I am right now. Where are you at? See, the line is loose. So I'm not over here struggling with my dog pulling. This is a good thing that you could start training your dog. Come, he wanted to, so he's everywhere right now. This is a good time to practice. Heel, brought him back in, okay? He's back in, sorry I'm a little wobbly right now. And we just continue, all right? That's what practice is all about. I have my dog here with me, it's pretty loose. If I wanna go this way, boom, come on. See, he goes this way. This is something that you can start doing with your dog right away in an open park like this. Don't make it so complicated on yourself. If I want to turn, there he goes. He turns with me. Oh, he's, he's distracted by the smells right now. But when I go, it's his time to go. See, boom, he follows me. Now, when you're leash walking, this is also a great opportunity to start socializing. Socializing is not just putting your dog with other dogs, like in a dog park. Socializing is seeing new areas, new settings, new cars, new people, new dogs, new animals, a raccoon, uh, a squirrel. <laughs> Hopefully you're not seeing raccoons but you get the gist of it. This is a good opportunity to start socializing. Now, day number four. Day number four is when I highly advise you to start exercising your dog, specifically just doing exercises only. The reason why I say this is because you can start incorporating training with those exercises. And what this really does is start building a bond with your dog. You start gaining their trust. Really, you start gaining them trust from day one, as long as you're you know, not abusive to the dog and you're starting to give them good guidance. Day four is a good opportunity to start learning some new activities with your dog, fetch uh, the flirt pole. You can even start uh, incorporating some tug toy play or any other brainstorming games for your dog. This is really good for their mental health. This is very good for their physical health. And overall, your dog will love you for this. 
Day number five is what I like to call the correction day. And the reason why I do this is because you're really dialing down on your dog and seeing where they really need the most work. If you're in week one right now, then I obviously know that you're not gonna be, be able to dial it all down in one week. This is gonna take maybe a year. You know, I really, in my personal opinion, think dog training is forever in their lifetime. But day five, you're gonna see, does your dog need uh, more correction because they're having reactivity issues? Also, you can start laying down the foundation of what you want from your dog and start incorporating some corrections. So this is a perfect opportunity to let your dog know what's right and what's wrong. And you can start tweaking your training program or your training schedule or your training routine and start dial in where they're really weak and where they need some growth at. And this is gonna be all mixed and intertwined because you know socialization is always happening obedience training is always happening let's say they're in the house you need them to sit because there's a guest over these are all going to mix over throughout the week but the reason why i'm giving you this strict routine or this training schedule is because i want you to focus in on what your dog is doing in that certain session such as obedience such as leash training such as just exercising and trust me if you follow this schedule right here you're gonna see that your dog is gonna grow over time. And remember, our biggest discount of the year is happening right now. If you liked any of these products in the video, I highly advise you to go check them out. There'll be a link in the description to help support the channel. And thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video.